Hi, today I have two questions for you with multiply choice answers. So you may stop video here, try to choose the correct answer and then you can pair your answer with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. Uh, which of the following occurs at the ribosomes and answer A? Most of the cells DNA molecules are stored there is not correct because most of the DNA molecules stored in the nucleus and some of them also present in the mitochondria. Mitochondria of course much smaller than nucleus so I drew them out of the proportions but you should understand this. So we can cross out answer A. It is not correct and we left with uh, B and C. Answer C. Uh, message RNA are produced there and it's not correct because uh, ribosomes use message RNA in order to um, translate this message RNA into the protein sequence. So we can cross out answer C and correct answer would be B proteins are produced there. And now we can go to the second question. Each tRNA anticodon has three bases. The three base combinations are codes for attracting specific kinds of and answer A endoplasmic reticular. Uh, imagine that this is once again a nucleus and it's surrounded by endoplasmic reticulum uh, that can be of the two kinds uh, smooth and rough but uh, no matter smooth or rough it's there is uh, ribosomes here that serves for production of the um, proteins so this is uh, incorrect uh, answer so we can cross it out and we left with B and C and uh, ribosomes the, uh, the question we can rephrase does tRNA attract ribosomes and this is exactly uh, opposite what happens so imagine that this is ribosome and this is um, large uh, a ribosome consists of two parts. This is going to be large and small part. And here would be message RNA. And um, large part. I want to redraw it like this. Large part consists of the two sides. Inside uh, A and P sides. And uh, which attracts uh, tRNA. So here is a tRNA. I will draw it as a clava form and here going to be 5 prime end and 3 prime end and here going to be anticodon site that consists of three uh, nucleotides. For example this Three nucleotides can be A, A, A. So uh, on the uh, message RNA, uh, this should be uh, codon that going to be uh, U, U, U. And uh, also I want to mention that this position here at the last last position at the uh, tRNA anticodon site is wobble position so any uh, in most cases uh, any nucleotide can present here and you may also ask uh, why do I know that this is uh, last codon of the uh, last nucleotide of the anticodon and not the first one and this is because I know that here is a 3 prime end and this is 5 prime end. 5 prime end a little bit shorter than 3 prime end and if I know where 5 and 3 prime end on the tRNA 
I can also put uh, 5 prime end here and if we stretch tRNA for example if uh, this go here so we know that uh, here would be 3 prime end of the tRNA if we would stretch it imaginatively so uh, and uh, here would be 5 prime end of the tRNA so here is going to be 3 prime end of the message RNA and this is also going to be 3 prime 3 prime end of the anticodon and 5 prime end of the anticodon so this goes in anti parallel to message RNA so this side should be uh, this particular um, nucleotide should be the last one in the anticodon site and as you see uh, now we know that uh, if it is here 5 prime end uh, ribosome should uh, move from 5 prime end to the 3 prime end direction so this is direction uh, which uh, ribosome moves and uh, here would be the first site for the tRNA where it moves and it moves uh, to this second site and then uh, would be released so here on my picture we see tRNA that already released and um, as you see from these uh, drawings uh, actually uh, ribosome uh, serve as attraction for the tRNAs but not uh, uh, vice versa so we can cross out answer B and what we left is uh, C amino acid because uh, when this uh, tRNA would be released it's once again would be charged with uh, uh, specific amino acid so amino acid would attach here and uh, I also want just to mention that not only anticodon uh, sites specify this uh, amino acid but also uh, let me draw here is a picture so this is uh, once again our tRNA this is clover form and once again here is 5 prime and 3 prime and and this is going to be the loop here and uh, this one and here is going to be anticodon loop and anticodon going to be here as in our example this could be A A A and um, here going to be a variable arm and this is going to be T C C arm and uh, loop so uh, I just want to mention that uh, here for example on the D loop there can be present some uh, sites let me choose the other color uh, here can be present uh, such sites where nucleotides uh, variable also such variable nucleotides present at the anticodon loop and the whole variable uh, arm is uh, sometimes can present and sometimes can be absent and uh, uh, all the uh, almost of the, of the uh, nucleotide that present here is also variable 
as long as some variable of nucleotides can be present at the T P C C uh, uh, loop. Uh, so the whole uh, structure of the tRNA not only uh, anticodon uh, site uh, designate which uh, uh, which uh, amino acid would attach here but also other uh, structures of the tRNA also important so uh, our answer would be C but I just want you to know that uh, not only anticodon site uh, specifies uh, which amino acid would attach to the three prime end. So I hope you were able to learn something new today. Uh, thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my uh, channel. New videos almost every day. Please ask uh, questions. I will try to answer all those questions. Goodbye.